Hey guys, it's Talia here. So as you guys might know, I had the opportunity to train in Denmark at the Peter Gates Center when I played Denmark Masters. So I didn't really vlog too, too much when I was there, but I did take videos of my training, so I thought I'd share it with you guys here. In this video, I'll be sharing two main drills that we did, and I'll be explaining what they were and their purposes. I hope you guys enjoy. So first, I just want to talk a little bit about the differences between training in Europe compared to at home and in Asia. I find that Europe training is way shorter. They like to do short interval trainings and they're more focused on quality over quantity. Whereas I feel like at home when I'm training or in Asian country, it's more focused on quantity over quality and the training times are much longer. So training at the Peter Gates Center, we only have one session per day and it's usually two hours. The drills are much, much shorter. We usually do 40 seconds on and then 20 seconds off. So for the 40 seconds that you're on, you're playing like high intensity, non-stop. So depending on your body condition how much you want to push that day like the number of rounds you do varies so the drill that is showing on the screen right now is called balance tempo it's a really common drill and i think i almost did this drill every single day when i was training at the peter gate center essentially it's two against one but they like to call it 1v1 plus one because there's always only two people on the court at a given time except on one side there's two people that just alternate every round i'm going to refer to the two people side as the feeding side and the one person side as the working side so every round is one minute long 40 seconds on 20 seconds off for the 40 seconds on the rally is continuous even if you make a mistake the extra person that is off the court will feed another shuttle to the people on the court so the rallies will continue for the 40 seconds on the rally should be intense high speed high quality and there should be no easy mistakes and once the 40 seconds is up there's 20 seconds of rest where you refocus yourself pick up the shuttles and the people on the feeding side alternate so they switch. For the working person, the objective of this drill is to play neutral shots. You don't play anything too fancy, nothing too risky, you're just trying to play safe. So lots of clears with fast pace and placing at the front court. For the people on the feeding side, they also play quite neutrally, but they can play slightly more attacking and slightly more risky shots to put the working person in a difficult position. In this specific training session, I remember doing about eight rounds, so about eight minutes as the working person, and then I switched to become the feeder. For this next drill, the format is similar, it's also 1v1 plus 1, but in this drill, the one person who stays and doesn't alternate is doing full defense, so they just need to try to get everything back over the net, and the side with two people needs to full attack, so they need to try everything and try to kill the person on the other side. So this means that they can play risky shots and they can try everything. Similar to the other drill though, it's still 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and the feeders alternate every round.
So I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any further questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe if you would like to, and I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye!